Yo, what is up, boys? What is up, girls? It's your boy Crix, and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to stream from your PlayStation to your computer with no input lag. So, me personally, I was streaming from my PlayStation on like YouTube and Twitch, and then I was streaming from my computer watching the stream, and there was complete dog shit lag. There was fucking delay. Everything I said wasn't matching up with the content. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to do that with no input lag. So what I did was I downloaded, I went to this website, remoteplay.dl.playstation.net. I downloaded the PS Remote Play for Windows. Or if you have a Mac or an Android TV, you can do that too. But I downloaded for Windows. It'll give you this, you just click this and then click download. See, I've already done this, so only thing I have to do is only thing you have to do is pick your downloads folder and then download it. We'll double click the installer, it'll install. Then you just double click this. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my controller. Don't mind, my PlayStation is about to turn on, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do it everything you can on your PlayStation on your computer so I'm gonna turn my PlayStation off go ahead and turn my play I'm gonna enter rest mode on my PlayStation now as soon as the controller cuts off you wanna hold the share and the PlayStation button at the same time <clears throat> until it starts doing this then you wanna go here to add Bluetooth device Now, I've already connected this, I think, but I'm going to remove it and show you the process anyways. So, uh, you just go to add a Bluetooth device, add device, then click the controller. <clears throat> It'll connect. Then you want to click, you want to connect your PlayStation. I connected it manually. It's way more simpler and it takes up that amount of time than it would connecting, like, wirelessly or whatever but uh as soon as it connects to your playstation what you're gonna want to do is i well, give it a minute <clears throat> it's probably because i don't have my playstation on I think you have to have your PlayStation on to connect it. <clears throat> but um as soon as this connects, I will be right back. Okay. So it's connected to my PlayStation. As you can see, I'm using my controller. Why isn't it working now? Okay, I got it to work. All you needed is a USB connector that came with your PlayStation, or you can just go buy one for like two bucks. But, uh, as you can see, yeah, my, it's the USB, so as you can see, I'm using my PlayStation controller. I'm doing, I see my PlayStation screen right here. And for example, I'm going to run some R6. Also, I had a little problem with me not being able to hear anything because I have like speakers connected to my laptop. But what I did is took a headset plug it in the controller or you can do this you can take your speakers and plug it into your controller and you should be able to hear it if you can't then i'm sure there's a troubleshooting way but i've never had a problem with that so we're chilling now r6 is loading in uh i'm gonna teach you a little thing if you don't want this little bar up here all you have to do is just click this 
and that bar will go away and if you leave the mouse there all of this thing at the bottom will go away and your mouse will go away so you'll just see the playstation screen it says 60 fps right now but the max i've gotten is 500 fps yes five zero zero hundred fps peaked at like 600 to 630 but then it went down to 500 i don't know if it's like a glitch or anything but still i'm not complaining shit it seems to i get better fps than doing remote play than i do on my playstation which is completely nuts it's completely nuts i'm loaded into situations right now like as you can see there's no input delay like everything's working just fine i'm gonna go ahead and uh, activate one of my boosters also you can activate microphone microphone switch to microphone on remote play device you can use a microphone instead of your headset microphone to like interact with people now i get 30 fps in cutscenes and then you see there it peaked up to 80 but i'm getting like 60 to 80. my controller keeps disconnecting but that's probably just because okay there goes the sound that's because uh my usb c that not usb c but my micro usb controller like connector thing is whack i need to get a new one but uh yeah as you can see i'm getting 80 60 to like 80 frames the highest i've got is what i said like 500 that wasn't a cutscene and everything but still you know it's 500 fps like that ain't bad but 78 fps ain't bad either as you can see there's no input delay five seconds and to prove that shoot through this window right now see no input delay no nothing so yeah that's basically it uh i'm gonna go and play a little gameplay for y'all just to prove that there's no input delay at all there might be a little bit of stuttering from the controller but that's normal because you're like not connected to your playstation But yeah, it's just a simple way to fix like input delay on streaming and recording gameplay from your PlayStation. And it does cut down on a lot of editing, I found out. Because if I'm recording gameplay from my computer, I don't have to send a file from my PlayStation via USB and drag both files into the recording software. Not the editing software and then cut out everything like it's all here and one thing so it's simple it's easy it's basically it like my aim is actually ass should have been a headshot right off the bat but he moved can't shoot through that so uh yeah that's basically it and if you want to you can like quit a game from this all everything like only thing you can't do is like watch netflix and watch youtube but you can just do that on your computer anyways download the remote play app and you'll be set for recording streaming everything if you enjoyed the video make sure you smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new Go in the description for the remote play, download, and 
my Twitch and my TikTok and all that. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a good day. Hope you have a good night whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.